that gave you a little bit more time to fellowship. Uh, when we say the close of prayer, just pick right back up and do that again. Uh, it's great to see you all here. We have a good crowd, and we're very thankful for that. Uh, this is our uh, final uh, final Wednesday night singing night of the month, and so uh, we start out with our uh, with our unbaptized boys that come up and and practice. And then we'll have our opening prayer, and then we'll go through with all the song leaders and uh, take their turn of leading a song or two. And we're looking forward to that. And so make sure to pick out a song. It's good to see some that haven't been able to be here in a while because of sickness. We're glad that uh, glad that the Lord has blessed us and answered our prayers and thankful that we're all able to be here tonight. Just a few things by way of announcement. Uh, first of all, continue to remember Faith Sutton in your prayers. Uh, she's battling a bad case of the shingles, and they shut it in at home, and so keep her uh, in your prayers. Also, Joy Thacker is still in room 222 at Redmond. Uh, she is improving a little bit day by day. I talked to Raven, and she said she had just talked to Joy, who seemed more like herself, more like her talkative self today. I think they did run an EKG on her, and so pray for the results of that. But we'll be praying that Joy will be able to get home as soon as possible. Uh, good news, if you didn't, if you weren't able to bring in snacks for the snack drive for the Boys and Girls Club, we've extended that a week, so you can bring that in on Sunday. You may notice that the big old pile is still out there uh, in the foyer, and that's great, but we'd love to add to that. Uh, the Boys and Girls Club is a great work, and it will benefit our Lads to Leaders program as well. So bring in those uh, individually wrapped snacks if you can. Uh, also, Demar Elam and Brother Derek Brown and his family will be here on Sunday, and we're looking forward to that. Demar is going to be teaching the Bible class on Sunday morning, and Brother Brown is going to be preaching uh, the Sunday morning lesson. We're really looking forward to that. Uh, Brother Derek Brown recently gave up his job as a banker and uh, became a full-time missionary, and has gone to ACU several times. And we're looking forward to hearing what he has to say. He's working with Demar in Open Door Ministries as well. Uh, let's see, Danny and Renee tell me that their 11th great-grandchild is on the way as we speak. The mother is in labor at Kennestone, and so we'll pray for a safe uh, delivery there. Uh, let's see, another note, a co-worker of Eric Bunch has got two aunts who are both hospitalized. One had a bad fall and is being checked for a broken hip. The other is in critical condition and unresponsive, and they're trying to figure out the issues. And so let's pray for, uh, for both of those ladies who are aunts of uh, Eric Bunch's co-workers. Uh, uh, let's see. Yes, sir. I find a few more bad news. One of my sisters, Bonnie, just came down. She got colon cancer. She found out. Oh, no. Well, we will pray for Jackie's sister, Bonnie, who's yeah. been diagnosed with colon cancer. We're going to put her on the we're going to put her on the prayer list and pray for her until she's better. Thank you, thank you, thanks. Uh, also, I have a couple of announcements here. Uh, one is the Vacation Bible School at the Cartersville Congregation, June the seventh through the tenth from 7 to 9 p.m. each evening, and this theme is going to be the miracles of Jesus. Uh, lessons on walking on water, healing the sick, turning water into wine, and feeding the multitude. It says classes for all ages, from pre-K to adult, and so we'll support that uh, as much as we can. Also have a flyer here about a Church of Christ homeschool co-op that uh, meets in Rome, Georgia. If anybody's interested in that, I'll put this on the bulletin board as well. And it has a lot of information in here. Uh, this is a work uh, that meets at the Oak Hill Church of Christ in Rome. And so I'll post that on the bulletin board as well. Uh, don't forget about our Vacation Bible School. It's coming up as well. Uh, also, we're going to have a Tuesday night summer series and it will kick off with an area-wide singing and we're really excited about that. And so uh, that will be July the 2nd, and that, that will start our Tuesday night summer series. And uh, there are flyers floating around uh, in the ethernet about that. And so we'll check that out, and we'll be mailing out those flyers as well. I think that's all that I have. Is there anything else that needs to be announced? 
All right. Well, we'll, uh, we'll uh, start off then with some of these little boys coming up here to practice their song leading. And then we'll have a prayer, and then we'll go around and let our, let our song leaders lead as well. All right, who wants to go first? Timothy?
694. 
Three more little ones. All right, who's got an opening prayer? I'll do it. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we're so thankful for this opportunity we have to come together tonight to uh, sing these praises under thy high and holy name. We're thankful for the ability to assemble those of like precious faith and to worship thee in this way. Uh, even uh, this avenue of prayer that we have, we can come before thy throne and make our prayers and petitions known unto thee. Father, we're so mindful of those that are sick and not doing well. We pray for Faith Sutton that you bless her. Uh, help her to get over her shingles, Father, and be back to her much wanted needed places in life as soon as possible. Father, we're also mindful of Joy Thacker and her recent heart procedure. We pray that you bless her. The tests that are being run and the uh, opportunity that she has in the hospital there to get her strength back. And we pray that she'll be able to go home soon as well. Uh, Father, we're mindful of the, the two ladies, the aunts of Eric's co-worker fathers. Uh, we pray that uh, they will improve and be able to get better soon if it be thy will. Uh, we're also mindful of uh, those that are uh, grieving over lost loved ones, those that are undergoing uh, upcoming procedures, or those that are taking therapy now, Father. We know that thou hast blessed us in so many ways, and we're grateful for all of thy providence. Father, we're also thankful for the spiritual blessings that we enjoy in Christ, uh, even this blessing of prayer that we have, but also spiritual family, the ability to worship thee without fear for our lives, and also, uh, Father, the forgiveness of our sins because of the blood that Jesus shed on the cross. We're so thankful for Jesus. We're thankful for the life that he lived here on this earth without sin so that we could have a perfect example to follow. And although sometimes we say and do those things that are not right, uh, we, we stumble and sin from time to time. We are so thankful for Jesus and for that continual forgiveness that we have because of his blood. Father, we're also thankful for thy word, the Bible, and all the opportunity we have to study it. We pray, Father, that we will take the things that we learn therein and apply them to our lives as we have need. Father, we also say a special prayer at this time for our mission efforts. We pray for Emmanuel George and for the work that he's doing in India. May his efforts fall upon good and honest hearts even this very day, and souls might be one unto thee. And also the training of young men to preach the gospel in the Philippines at ACU, Father. We pray for all of the teachers and the staff and the students there, that they work hard and train hard and learn more about preaching thy word and be able to do it effectively out in the lost and dying world. Now, Father, we're thankful for this congregation here, for our elders and our deacons, our Bible class teachers especially tonight for the song leaders that we have, uh, even these young men that are coming up and uh, training at the feet of these good song leaders, Father. We pray that you bless them and uh, help them to grow up to be strong and faithful leaders in my congregation, my church one day. Uh, Father, be with us as we go through the rest of this time of singing tonight and bless us as we, uh, as we give the honor and praise. For it's in Jesus' holy name that we pray these things. And amen. I will ask you to uh, keep Jackie in there. Jackie's in the fine final home couple here from Trunks Health Wise. Um, she's on about two steroids, three antibiotics. No, I'm exaggerating. She has been on two antibiotics, but uh, uh, fine different things. I don't have leprosy in case you're Oh uh -huh. 
No, I looked at it. I'm not sure I know that. But I did take a picture of it. So I might try to learn it and come back to it. Uh, I tried it uh, for this one, so I can try it for that one. There you go. Any other ones that somebody has in mind?
because we want to always encourage people to do better. You know, we have that opportunity when we come together and sing praises like we have here tonight. We think about spiritual things. It's hard not to soak in these great lessons from the songs that we've sung about heaven, about God, about Jesus and his great love for us. 
uh, about our responsibility to do right. And uh, we certainly have that tonight, don't we? And so if you're here tonight and you need to do better, that's what we want to encourage you to do. Isaiah chapter 55 and verse number 6, the Bible says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him when he is near. You know, the idea of that passage is not that God is going to flee away from us, but that our time here is limited. Right now, we know that we have the opportunity to seek God and to do His will. Right now, we know we have the opportunity, if we're not Christians, to become Christians. And if we are Christians, but we have sin in our life, to make that right. And so God wants us to seek Him while he may be found, and to call upon him when he is near. You know when God's near? God's near when we turn to him and want to do right. Amen. And that's what this uh, invitation like this is all about. Second Peter chapter 3, verse number 9, in the New Testament, the Bible tells us, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to us, for not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. And so, you know who God wants to repent and be saved? All of us. He doesn't want anybody to be lost. That's why he sent Jesus to die on the cross. The Bible <coughs> says that Jesus tasted death for every man. Now, that doesn't mean every man is going to be saved, but it means every man could be saved if he choose to do right. Also, every woman, every boy and girl of the old age. Jesus died to pay the price for us all. We know that we've all sinned. Romans 3, and verse number 23, tells us that. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And the Bible tells us in Romans 6, 23, that the wages of sin is death. And so we know what we deserve, but because of God's great love and mercy, he gives us a chance to reach out to him, to seek him while he can be found, and to, uh, to turn to him, to call upon him while he is near. When we do that, God promises us that we can be new creatures. Second uh, Corinthians chapter 5, verse number 17 says that we are new creatures in Christ Jesus. That uh, we can be free of condemnation, Romans chapter 8, verse number 1. And that we can have that peace that passes all understanding, Philippians chapter 4, verse number 7. But you have to do your part. God's already done his he wants you to be saved. He wants you to come to be with him in heaven when this life is over and the judgment is passed. He's done everything to make that possible except the part that only you can do. And that is become a Christian through obedience to the gospel plan of salvation or if you are a Christian and you've drifted away from the Lord to come back through repentance and prayer. And if we can help you tonight by helping you to obey the gospel, the water is ready. Everything here is ready if we can help you do that tonight. And if you're here as a Christian and you've drifted away, drifted away through sin, now's the time to come back through repentance and prayer. We'll be there with you and for you. We'd be glad to do that. If you'll let us know your need, as together we stand and as we sing. Would you be free from the burden of sin? There's power in the blood.
service. Don't forget to come back on Sunday morning uh, at 10 o'clock for our Bible class and 11 o'clock for our worship service. Again, Brother D. Mark Elam will be here to bring us up to speed on uh, much of the work going on at Asian Christian University in the Philippines. And then Derek Brown will be preaching the uh, Sunday morning lesson. I know we all want to come back, uh, come out and join in with that and, and support missionaries uh, in the great work that they're doing. So come back and join in with us then uh, if you can. Don't forget Sunday to bring in the snacks for the uh, Boys and Girls Club, the snack drive. You haven't been able to bring in some things, or maybe you did bring in some things, you want to bring in some more, that'd be great too. We'd love to, uh, we'd love to help out the Boys and Girls Club and uh, get credit for Lance to Leaders and the uh, service project along those lines as well. I think that's all I've got uh, tonight by way of announcement. If you have other things you'd like to have announced, uh, let me know. I'll be glad to do that at the appropriate time. We'll ask uh, Austin if he would to lead us in the word of prayer. Dear most gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time that we've had to come together and sing praises to your name. We pray that for each and every one of us that it's been edifying, that we've learned, and that as we depart that we'll carry the words with us, remember them through the rest of the week, and that it's brought glory and honor to your name. We pray for the community about us. We pray that we might live our lives in a manner that would lead them to your son, that we would glorify you through our lives. We ask for forgiveness of our sins, Lord, and we pray that you bring us all together again soon safely. Pray that you be with us each and every day and give us the strength and courage to live as we should and serve you faithfully. We thank you for your son and in his most holy and precious name that we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.